Hey, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Bren of Another Castle for All Things Nerd. Uh, back again for another Twitch Tuesday. Things are a little different this time. Uh, Spencer is not here because he is currently um, out of town right now and he is getting uh, forklift training at the job he works at, um, which he said was um, he would be gone by around 5.30. And he would be back at around 10 or 11 there. our time. Uh, uh, I don't know why, because there's a 45-minute five, five drive to where he was going to go to the train. So while he's gone, uh, I'll be flying solo until um, he comes back. Uh, but until then, we're just going to play some uh, Unturned. And it's a game on Steam. Uh, one of the most... Uh, it's yeah. It's one of the most uh, entertaining games I've played that is uh, currently is on the free to play market. Um, um, which he said now, a lot of people, uh, you know, aren't really fond of free to play games, but this game is the exception in terms of how the game approaches you when it comes to the aspect of pain. Uh, when it comes to the free to play, uh, you know. Uh, oh, what was the word? See, it's hard to do this by by myself um, without the free to play um, structure, so to speak. Um, as you can see on the screen, there is a five dollar permanent gold upgrade, which I have not purchased yet. Um, where it gives you a little bit, uh, a, a, a few bonuses, play, uh, you know, and uh, uh, the bonuses are just like mostly just like colors i think uh let me check hold on i'm right now i'm trying to log in so i can change the title on my stream uh, on the stream of another castle stream and i can't currently log in and i put in the password about like five times uh and i still cannot log in for some very very strange reason so if any of the people from another castle are currently uh viewing this uh, especially Jen, I would suggest that she change the title. Anyway, so we're going to play on turn. Uh, and the gold upgrade is golden name and chat and player list, ex extra skin colors, hair and faces, access to special golden servers, suits and shades on golden servers, extra loot drops on golden servers, double experience on golden servers, and enhanced sleek, darker user interface. Uh, now, I, can, I would say, though, that the idea of... Uh, the idea of... A sleek, darker user interface. I would say that's kind of cool. Like, you know, that gold members get that. And for $5, it ain't much. But to just, like, not us to have it, it's kind of uh, a little bit, you know, I don't know what the interface does. Anyway. So you can make your own game. Uh, make your own character. Not your own game. Make your own character and see I have limited um, hair selections. Uh, so I tried to pick, like, a hair color and hairstyle that closely resembles me and you may notice that um you can pick like your hands your left handed or right handed I think um so yeah alright now I'm going to do the single player yeah PEI Prince Edward Island an island off the east coast of Canada it's known for it's massive beaches great golf and potato farming and um I was going to say this you may also notice that I am wearing clothes uh, in this game, you start out wearing nothing, so you're you're practically naked in the game. Which, um, oh, see, I started in the water. You're practically lay naked, and unturned, um, which is kind of funny because you're just like basically a a block of you know you know ba uh, skin color. Uh, it's hard to do this by myself because it's hard to explain things because I'm just talking to myself. I'm not talking to my brother or anything like that. See, well, anyway. So yeah, you just you basically literally start with nothing like Rust, except in Rust where you get a rock. In this game, you get nothing. You only get your bare fists, and I'll be able to show you that to you as soon as I get out of this water. Uh, now the user interface down here is um, health, food, water, uh, toxicity, kind of like when it comes to sickness, and this in the lightning bolt is um, energy. Uh, now, the way it works, it doesn't go down from 100% to 0%. Instead, it goes up from, like, let's say if you have 0% hunger, that means you're full. And it goes up slowly. Uh, which was, it's a little weird for new players, especially if you're familiar with other 
uh, games, open world games such as this, like uh, Daisy or Seven Days to Die. Uh oh. Um, now, while I'm punching the zombie with my left hand, uh, I'm going to explain the history of this game. From what I've heard, this game was a. It's made by. Um, from, from what I've seen, uh, it's made by one guy. And he, I think he made this on the Unity engine. I could be wrong. I, I mean, I need to fact check that. Um, I forgot to open up the chat. Um, and it was made. I don't. I, I'm not gonna look up. Well, I'm, okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna say who the guy's name is because uh, I don't want to Google it and you know have to search for who the guy. Is. Oh, screw it. I might as well. Um, and uh, this guy, he works by himself. And I think he's, like, still in, like, high school or something like that. Like, he's still, like, I don't know if he's in college or high school or whatever. He's, um, like, he, oh, because he always says, like, you know, I'm updating this. Uh, you know, I, I, have, I have classes and blah, 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 and, like, you know, stuff like that. So, it's kind of interesting to see how much um, effort was put into this game. Um, it, it started as, like, I think a modification for... Oh, yeah, developers, Nelson Sexton, or Sexton, however you want to pronounce that. Um, so it's just one guy, which is pretty, pretty amazing, and it's a lot of, like, work behind it. I remember this started out as a mod, I think, to that to that game called Roblox. Uh, I never played it. I never played Roblox, but um, a lot of people have, uh, apparently, and they always said, like, man, I remember playing that game as a kid. Oh, no! Um... Or when I was younger or whatever. And um, he decided to make it, like, kind of, like, with the same kind of graphics. And a lot of people, you know, first impressions when you when you see this, you might think, oh, it's very similar to uh, Minecraft. And, uh, yeah, you know, there's some, it, it has, it, you know, that's what I thought, too. I thought, you know, Minecraft. But I think this game has a lot more, um, what's, what would be the word, um, ambition or something? I can't remember the controls. Uh, it's, I've already played this before in the past, but I can't even remember how to go to my inventory. Uh, let's see here. Um, left, dequip, backspace, interact. Inventory, tab. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, so you start off with just small amount of items. I keep forgetting I have a weapon on me. Let's see? Uh, Winchester clip, drop the mat. Canned cola. Oh, cool, I have cola. Where is my... I'm, I'm so used to playing Seven Days to Die that um, I'm just really bad at this. Um, I'm screwing everything up. Um, oh, man. Oh, someone turned the night vision off. How do you turn this off? Apparently, I can't. I can't. Well, oh, well. Okay. So, I got a golf club. I, I didn't know I started out with the golf club, but whatever. Uh, and surprisingly, this game, uh, does have a little bit of, um, you know, kind of a high demand for graphics. I don't have it up all the way, and you'd think having it up all the way wouldn't change anything, but no, the game looks fantastic when it's up all the way. You know, when it comes to a game being, you know, mostly just blocks and, you know, looking like the way it is. Um, it actually looks good, because it has, like, um, I think it has, like, a bloom effect. Let's go check the graphics right now. Yeah, you get, uh, get some lighting... You get some shading, highlights, smoothing, rays, buffering, yeah, decent foliage, like, yeah, it's all by, like, decent or, like, good and stuff like that. They always change it like that. Um, the options are very, uh, you know, very, as it stands right now, there's not much variety in the options. You can't really, there's no menu, like, a drop-down menu to say, I want, pick this. You have to keep clicking. Um, and, yeah, it's like, when it comes to, like, just the way that it, like, looks. A lot of people probably would think, oh, well, you know, this game doesn't look that good. I mean, you know, there are so many other different uh, games similar to this that are, like, on the on the market right now. Uh, you know, it's like uh, DayZ or Rust or Seven Days to Die. You know, those games look better because, you know, you can actually have human models and stuff like that. Which, yeah, you know, I, I admittingly, I, that's one thing that kind of shocked me about this game was that the fact that, you know, you kind of look like you're all blocky and everything like that. I'm just repeating myself mostly just now. Um, it's hard to just do this by yourself. 
Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's not, it's just difficult to do this by myself. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about, I'm going to stop talking about the game because um, I'm just going to talk about uh, just, um, just um, what's currently happening right now. I have the night vision on, which is um, kind of annoying to have on because it is every, everything screen. Oh, I just took my shirt off or my poncho. Oh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Car. I think it's nighttime in the game, so that's that's not bad, but still, it's it's very it's too much green. <laughs> uh, reminds me of um, Splinter Cell. I think uh, was Splinter Cell known for that? Okay, you can also drive cars in this game. I only have one percent of gas, so let's see how long I go before it um, decides to screw up on me. Forty miles an hour. Wait, hold on. Let's go back. I have 0% gas. Take that. All right. Done. And there it goes driving off. Or not. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't Unfortunately, you can't loot their corpses. Um I've been playing lots of 7 Days to Die recently, so um if I kind of suck at this, it's because I'm kind of used to the way 7 Days to Die works cuz when you kill zombies and stuff in that game in in in, in 7 days, you um you know, you can loot their bodies, so it's, it's, you know, when I'm playing this, it's like, hmm, can't loot their bodies, why, why isn't that, why isn't that, so, I do like the typical sound effects, and, and the animation makes me laugh a little, because they just, like, fall flat instantaneously, and, um, it's very amusing, all right, uh, magazine, I don't have a gun, though, hmm, does this game have durability, I'm not very sure, no, good, that's, actually, well, that's one good thing, Potato seed. Yeah, there's also a lot of like you gotta do like a lot of farming, you know, because you get you find like peas, like uh, seeds, like corn seeds or potato seeds or tomato seeds. You know, you gotta you gotta do that. A lot of a lot of uh, a farming idea to get food, much like how Seven Days works with that. Um, what's that? Swift magazine. I don't have a gun. Sorry, not enough energy. Oh, and you also uh, get experience in this game, which um, you can use to uh, level yourself up, obviously. Uh, you go to skills. Uh, see, I have 32 experience. And every time you die, you have to do it all over again when it comes to um, getting experience. Uh, so let's say, do more and take less damage. Definitely, I want that. Um, and survival, slower starvation, dehydration. Definitely want that. And there's the crafting, which is pretty cool, and the apparel. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the blood's kind of pink because I think the sun's coming out. Or something. Okay, let's turn let's take these off. Oh god. Oh man, that's way better. Now everything looks everything has color, not everything's just a tinge of green, like we're Batman forever. Oh, okay. No, just the green, just... Oof. Yeah, and you can also play with people. You can go on, like, multiplayer, like, play land style. Uh, basically, I remember I did this with uh, Spencer a couple weeks ago um, before we changed location to green screen. Uh, I remember that um, we played this together, and we had a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun um, to play this game with friends or family members uh playing it by yourself it's like yeah it's it's also pretty fun because you get to take most of the experience and nobody else can steal it from you but it's like you know it's kind of more like like other games similar to this it's always fun to have other people uh on your side so you know you can either work together or kill them but i think in this game you can't kill each other if you allow it or not i'm not sure because me me and Spencer struck is stuck Mostly to um, play versus uh, environment PVE. Oh man, he's coming through the bed. I like the blood splatters too. It's kind of, so it's like it's so cartoony that it's just like fantastic. I think we were here before. And so far, there was only one map, and there's an arena mode which um, I have not checked out. M may check it out or not in the stream. All right, there we go. More pants, jumper bottoms, I think I have those. 
Yeah, jumping also costs en energy, which is uh, a little bit weird, but you get used to it right away. Wooden spike trap. Um, but, you know. Alright, here we go. I'll say, I said it once, I'll say it again. Um, with so many games on the, on the Steam market, and this one's completely free, unless the, uh, except the $5 uh, permanent upgrade, which you don't, you only have to pay for once, which is, uh, kind of awesome, and, you know, $5 ain't, ain't, ain't expensive, you know, anybody can afford five bucks, I mean, yeah, as long as you, you know, yeah, anybody can afford it, so, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I like doing that, that was fun. Okay. Yeah, everything's kind of a little, little bit, uh, more greater, because, uh, when you lose health, everything goes, like, black and white a little, slowly. So it turned from being a colorful game to be looking like a next generation, next gen game. Eh. Sorry, bad joke. All right, here we go. A town. Oh, oh, almost had him. Where's my golf club? Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh man, where did these guys come from? Oh, and also, um, good news, um, to anybody who, uh, saw the strategy Saturday of Civilization V, I mentioned how we didn't have any keys for Highlands. Uh, good news, we actually, f I finally did get an email back from, um, the guys in charge of Highlands, and they gave us two keys. Uh, they emailed me this afternoon, I think, and, uh, they said, quote, well, not quote, but they said, you know, it's great that you're, you know, interested in the game, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you think it's, like, really cool and everything like that. If you can check it out, you know, be, feel free to take these keys and blah, blah. And he mentioned how, um, uh, he said, oh, and by the way, when it comes to the stream, let us know when you're streaming so we can see it, and then, which is kind of cool. You know, I, I think that's pretty awesome how, you know, these guys or girls... Um, are interested in seeing our stream, so I, I'll be sure to let those guys know. I'll be I'll be sure to let them know, saying like, okay, we'll be streaming Saturday uh, at this time. So feel free to check it out. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm sure we'll have loads of fun. Oh God, is a zombie chef! <laughs> I never get tired of that death animation. It's just so like there's like no ragdoll physics, so they don't just like like flop forward and like just die. Instead, they just go. Oh, you killed me? Instantly on the ground. What's this? Oh, granola bar. Okay, I'll take that. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. There's a note there. Okay. What, could, what, what should I do with this note, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see. What can I do with it? Or not, nothing. I can just put it on the ground. I don't care. Whatever. All right. Moldy carrot. Granola bar. We got granola bar again. Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. You can take, like, wide swings with it. I did not know you could do that. Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me, um, shrink the game real quick. Uh, I'm gonna change the title so we can get... Uh, more people to see this. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna watch myself on the Twitch screen so I don't see myself get killed while well, I'm changing the title. I will say it kind of blows that, um, which is not here with us right now. Um, but I, I'm, I assure you. I assure you, everyone, that this is just going to be a, just the only time he's going to be uh, missing an action currently. Um, I can't sign in for some reason. I'm going to have to ask Jen about that. She's on. She's not on. Well, try it again. Uh, I apologize for this technical difficulties, everybody. But you know, I gotta try and log in. Let's 
try like that. Alright, um... Oh man, I hate this. Let's try that again. Log in. Did not log in. Watch. Well, not watch, but... Watch. It'll be, uh... Back... Yeah, see. Follow this channel. Get notification when it go live. Well... I can't seem to log in. As it stands right now. Which is, uh... Semi irritating a little because uh well, let me um see if I can Okay. Uh, got a text. Are you streaming without me? I got a text back, Spencer, yes. Well at least he's still he's kinda here on the phone. Um Um, so can... Alright, I'm trying to so I'm going to text him back real quick. I'm sorry if this is uh, delaying um, okay. my time with the game. Um, well, that gives me more time to um, talk about what makes this game good. Uh, much like um, the creators of Seven Days, the uh, this guy updates the game constantly he, he keeps attention to it you know he doesn't leave it behind he doesn't forget about it and work on another project it's not like that oh that's weird okay um okay oh, man. okay uh ladies and gentlemen i'll have to be right back i have to go grab something uh i don't know what the password is i've written it down so uh, i will return real quick um, and when I come back, uh, we'll go back to, uh, Unturned. Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, I could not find the paper where I wrote down the password, which really irks me. Um, yeah, I wish I could um, I'm gonna log in. Okay, I'm going to give her a message. To... Change the title. Alright. Yeah, I cannot log in right now. So, I'm just going to leave that where it is and go back and unturn. Uh, but a lot of people are going to be disappointed when they think that I'm live playing Civilization Five. They're going to be in to be like, what, what's with this first person uh, crap? How come he's not playing Civ Five? But I'm, I'm, good. I try, I'm trying to change the title. Um, okay, well, no space. Alright. Um, I will also mention that there is a complete lack of music um, in the game, except on the title screen, which um, can be a little bit, you know, a little, uh, 
Just have more music while you played, because that would be that would be a lot of fun. Which a lot of people could argue that, and you know, I won't I won't say, well Oh crap. There we go. God, I'm gonna die. Just gonna do I drop those. Drop all right there, dropping them. There we go. I need to pick up this uh canned chili. That's what I need. Everything went black and white. Oh, broken down car. Can I still drive it? Yes, I can, but barely. Because all the smoke gets in my face. Okay. What else? Uh, you get a, you find a lot of gun clips, but you can never find the gun that accompanies the clip. Which is a uh, shame. Longbow. What's this? Okay, I can't pick up a book. Let me just... Um Right, I'm getting I'm getting a uh, response back. A banana is forty four ninety nine. That's a little bit of a rip. Let's see. Did I already check this house? Probably did. Let's see. Oh, travel pack. I need that. I'm going to drop the canned chili for a second. Pick up the travel pack. Equip it. Oh, Colt gun. Sweet. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. Uh, let's see how much space I got now. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, you got to right-click things. Um, it's not your typical left-click to move the item kind of thing. Okay. Okay, I got a gun now. Safety, um... Yeah, safety on, safety off. You gotta hold it. You can't just click it. Okay. I'm shaking. Um... Alright, let's see. Where where will I go now? Is there a map button? No, there is not. I don't think there is. Alright. <laughs> that gun sound is not as cool as I thought it was gonna be. See, I'm shaking like crazy in this game, shaking like a leaf. Um, yeah, and as you can see, the server thing, same bell if they're connected. Uh, that's my Steam name, um, and it just keeps, it just stays there. So there's nothing I can do about that. Oh well, doesn't matter. I wish they would move it up more. It's like down on the top left. That'd, that'd be nice to see. Shaking. Okay. Um, okay, let's see here. What I go? Oh, did I already? Po I probably already went there before. There's a lot of like places to go. Surprisingly, um, this map isn't that small. Um, there's very limited locations though, because it's like there's the occasional like farmland, and there's the occasional like small town. There's there's the um. Wow, this gun is apparently really bad compared to the golf club. Apparently the golf club can kill him in two strikes, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, like one. One. Two. Two strikes. How does a how does a Colt gun take like three shots to kill him if you shoot him in the face? <laughs> oh, he dropped the uh, night vision goggles. Right on. Okay, let's see. What else? Oh, purification. Well, I don't need those. Dressing Dr. Coat. Gotta make sure there's no... Ah, oh, morphine. Yes. I could use that. Can I use it now? Does it heal me? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, now we're back. Got some color, finally. Can't go that way, but I'm gonna kill the guys here because that's just how I roll. Look at him sliding at me. Hmm. Zombie fall down. Oh, let's see. Can I actually, like, see if there's anything? Oh, there's something here. All right. We're getting somewhere. Can you drive the tank? And probably can't. Raw explosives. What was the thing I saw on it? Boom with exclamation mark three times. Oh, excuse me. What's that for? What's the Swift magazine for? 
Military seven grand. Hey. Oh, okay, so Swift magazine's good for the Colt. That's nice. Um what's this? Bolts. Alright, well. Whatever. I was bolt out of here. What's this? Oh. Yoink. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Dressing. What is that? It's dressing. Oh. Well, why is it called dressing? When shouldn't it be called like first aid bandage or something? Like first aid at least or something? I don't know. Just just thinking in just, think, just thinking out loud. I also uh, would like to apologize in advance for the shaky beginning of when I started this stream because I am not used to doing this by myself. So, you no, know, because I gotta say, doing things with a co-host is a lot easier because it takes the pressure off you. Um, but doing it by yourself, you know, there's a lot of pressure. You're not, no, you're not even sure if you can like deliver the same amount of entertainment and you know, fun. Oh, great! I'm slowly losing health. I did not know Morphine did that. Oh well, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the um, dressing and see if that heals me up. Come on. Oh, good. All right, get some color again. Uh, and anyway, like I was saying, um, it is pretty tough to do this by yourself because with a co-host, you at least you can talk to someone else as well, you know, and have a lot of fun, you know, especially if you're playing the same game at the same time, like what me and Spencer usually do. You know, we have a lot of fun, but most of the time, though, when there's two people, we sometimes always go off off, off topic and never talk about the game. Which is something we should do. I should let him know that next time he comes back. I should let him know that we should talk more about the game. Um, because, you know, because our last stream on Saturday, we were talking about, like, the Spider-Man movies, and we were talking about, like, Transformers, and then we just got insanely off-topic. We weren't even talking about Civilization Five because, um, I think what our minds, what we thought, I think, was that, uh, people already know unanimous decision of how good Civilization Five is, so if we just talk about it, it'd be like, well, we already know that the game's good, so, you know. Safety. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, military base. Let's check this out. I do like the simplicity of the way the game looks. You know, it's not trying to be groundbreaking. It's not trying to be like the next Watch Dogs in terms of graphics, you know. Um, and that's, you know, it's maybe a little bit off topic, but I really don't like games that try to do that. Like, you know, where they try to make their game look good, but then the game's not as good as, like, let's say, like, you know, like, like Sims 4 came out recently. A lot of people say it's not as good, um, toddler and pool stuff, you know, not gonna talk about that. Besides all that, people have said, like, the game's not as good as 3, but they said the same thing about Sims 2, or Sims 3, when it's like, it's not as good as 2, you know. Um... And, you know, Sims 4 boasts a lot of, like, oh, man, look how different it looks. And I'm like, it kind of looks more or less the same, a little. Uh, we had a little bit more cartoony with the hair and everything like that, how it's not realistic looking anymore. It looks more like, you know, it's trying to be look like, a, you know, like a, a DreamWorks movie or something. You know. But other than that, though, it's like people were like, uh, Sims 4 is not very interesting because it's like it's got a couple bugs, you know. Oh, I was mauled by a zombie. Well, it's time to respawn. We're back. See, that's quick. I like that. Um, see, I'm naked. See? that's what, This is what I was talking about in the beginning. I have no clothes on. And all I can do is just punch. Um, yeah, so it would probably be a lot better if Spencer was here because he'd be giving me um, covering. He'd cover me. Um, I wouldn't get surrounded so easily. Oh, see? See? I wish you could take the clothes off the zombies. That'd be kind of cool, but whatever. Um, oh, yeah, I see, and I lost my skills. Oh, but I have my experience points. Oh, God! What the? This zombie's kicking... That zombie was kicking my ass. What was going on there? All right. There. Do this. Yeah, so left click for me is the left hand because I think I changed it to left handed for me because I'm left handed in real life. So I'm trying to keep this uh, blocky character as close to me as possible. Um, and right click is to use my right fist. So it's kind of cool. You can alternate like this, like boxer. Just keep doing that. Let's see, nothing here. Oh, good. I can get some clothes in here. 
boring pants. Well, if they... Oh, great. Oh, look at that blood splatter of the walls. Alright. Just putting on some boring pants. At least I got pants on. I'm not running around naked. You never see that in zombie movies where, you know, you see a dude running around naked um, in, a, in a city looking for clothes. Boring suit. Well, I'm going to take the plaid shirt. Push your bottoms. Cool. Sailor fatigues. There's a lot of sailor clothes, isn't there? Do, do people in Prince Edward Island wear sailor fatigues and boring pants and boring suit and plaid shirts? You know, I'm Canadian, but I've never been there, so... Mm -mm. Maybe. Pink shirt. It's got, um, apparently white sleeves on it, but I, I, I know it's supposed to be, like, the human arms. It's supposed to be, like, an example, but still, it's, it's a little weird. Um, okay. Let's see. Laundry. Apartment. I need, I need um... Oh, got a lot of perfection on me. Yeah, and also when you eat rotten food and stuff like that, um, you slowly become, like... You know your toxicity level goes up, so you you gotta be really careful on what you pick to eat. Can and that's that's a shame. You can't really like open fridges and stuff like that right now. I'm, I'm leaning. Um, yeah, you can't really like open a fridge and say like, yeah, open, check the oven or check the fridge, see what's in there. You know, uh, that's a little bit of a shame that you can't check places where usually food would be put in. I was probably already in here. Jump. Okay, was it time it said? Title. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's like next to no music here, so. Just, just the sound of the birds chirping. Hmm, let's see. Magic cloak. Oh, yeah, you gotta, we gotta rock the magic cloak. Oh, yeah. Look at that cloak. Oh, I'm ready to LARP. Oh, lever action. All right. All right, now we got actually got a rifle now. Oh, and that was a lot of kickback. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, man, that's good. Sorry, I don't know why I said that twice. Oh, here we go. Boom! Oh, no, it's a zombie police officer. That it's like the it's like the undead version of the Mountie. It's a wrestling reference. Oh, Let's get away! You gotta like take a risk though to get them kind of close to you so you can punch them. There, I killed them all. Oh, great! And this is fantastic. I'm gonna die. Oh, jeez! Get away from me! Oh, dog's barking. I think Spencer might be home. He might be coming home. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, bandage. Yeah, we see you got bandage. I don't know why the other one was called dressing. Do they actually call it that? You know, maybe it's a type of lingo that I'm not aware of. Let's see. Uh, what else? What's, what's that? Oh, work lights. St. Alan Wake, I don't need to use the work lights for nothing. Oh. Well, may the buckshot be used for lever action. Yes, it can! Outfield. What's that, rotten apple? Moldy cabbage, yeah, see, I'm not gonna eat that. Dixie hat, alright, cool, I'm putting a hat on now. Ah, look at me, I'm so cool looking. Well, let me get my gun out. Now, that's, that's some, that's some, uh, that's a badass, uh, character right there. Watch out. Seinfeld's on upstairs. <laughs> oh, man, they put a katana in a bank. I never thought I'd see that before in my uh, lifetime. Okay, what is, what, what, okay, I'm going to use this rifle. Because I've never used it before. I'm shaking like crazy. Um, it's like DayZ when you start shaking like mad. In the old Arma 2 mod, that is. A lot of people play that, apparently, still. A lot of people play the old Arma 2 mod. Oh, <laughs> Now that was sweet. Right, let's get rid of this. I don't, I don't need the Swift magazine. All right, let's let's uh, put that right there. Put that right there. There we go. And I got a sword. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's really good chop in motion right there. That's what I'll show him. Instead of chopping downwards like you do with the golf club. It's kind of backwards a little. Maybe. Like where you'd think the golf club would go like that. You know, you hit him. You know, but with the katana, it's like... I'll show the zombies who's boss. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Got my semi-auto. Got this. Oh, not my semi-auto. It's lever action. Duh. Oh, I don't like you calling that. I'm going around in circles, aren't I? Even though, even if I can't change the Twitch title, um, I can always change it uh, in the in the in the highlight. So if anybody wants to see the highlight of this, um, you know, I can add a description and everything like that. Oh, police uniform and civilian bullets. Does that work for the lever action? Oh no, wait, no. But does it work for this gun? Nope, from what I can tell, no. Binoculars. What is this? What does it say it's used for? Civilian grade munitions, apparently. That's about it. Oh man, everything's all dark. Oh great. Oh yeah. Oh. Mmm. Now who's a weak civilian? Or whatever. All right, now I got two shots. Left in the sucker. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, one hit kill. I gotta tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Unturned is fantastic. It is awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, I need greater stamina, greater survivability. Uh, I don't need that right now. Immunity. More vitality, too. Fantastic. Let's see, what's this? More outdoor, stronger mining and chopping. Yeah, let's let's have the more better marksman ability. It seems it seems more like what uh, this is the most uh, recommended choice. Um, it's maybe a little bit off topic, but I was reading um, some tropes on TV tropes called. The, uh, I was reading a specific trope called the Creator Backlash. And uh, I was reading on the music thing, and they talk about how... How much space does this have? Medium size bag? Is that is that any better than this? Let's see. Not really. Let's let's try the travel pack again. Um, and I was reading the Creator Backlash trope page, and they... Oh, this is way better. Um, they talk about... Um, in music uh, section, they talk about... Uh, I was looking at, like, Jimi Hendrix and, like, uh, Madonna and stuff like that. Madonna apparently hates Material Girl, and I did not know that. Um, I hate it, too, because it was in Elite Agents, and I kept screwing up in that level. Um, but I did not know she hated it. Um, apparently, Jimi Hendrix does not like the cover he did of a song called uh, Hey Joe, uh, which, um, surprisingly, they used a snippet of that song, I think, at the beginning for the New World Order theme in uh, WWE, which is... Uh, a little interesting, actually. And then when I found out they hated it, I was like, oh. Huh. I did not know that. Oh, I only got one bullet left. Uh, yeah, I like uh, uh, Radiohead um, hates the song Creep. They don't really like it. They hate it because um, they had a story, um, or they said, like, people would go to their concerts just to hear that song and then um, leave shortly afterwards. And they said, like, they didn't like it how people had that idea of just, I'm just going to see that one song, and then proceed to leave. Um, I remember Thom York said that he did not uh, enjoy that, and the guitarist said he intentionally um, made the guitar sound really bad um, because you know, he wanted to make it as like crappy as possible, and apparently it worked in the song's favor, unfortunately. Um, which is kind of uh, which is not ironic, um, which is kind of funny, because um the songs on rock band and everything like that, so it's like super popular again. Um, but it's kind of interesting though to see like artists were like, "Yeah, I hated that song. I hated doing it." Uh, I remember there was another example of. Um, uh, let me think. What was it? Uh, Billy Joel doesn't really enjoy Piano Man. He's, he does it live occasionally, but he's like, eh, "Not one of my best songs." Um, can yeah, I'll pick. I'll use a can. Can with nothing in it. Oh man, everything's so dark you can't see where I am. Um, I'm sorry. Sledgehammer, no, I got my katana. There's no way I need that. Oh, sledgehammer, I thought it was a chainsaw. Damn it. Um, okay, well, 
Let's see. Does this work for the Magnum? Oh, what's that? need those. I'm just shaking like crazy. Look at that. I'm shaking in this game. It's nuts. Um, oh man, I noticed that Xplit doesn't isn't complaining to me right now. Say it dropped frames detected because this game is so smooth. I think there's a reason why Xplit does that. I think um we figured this out because you know since we're so mean specs are so stupid. Um we figured out that like the reason why it drops frames is because the game drops frames. So Xplit's trying to keep up with it I think. And thus drops frames in the stream, which is uh, kind of a dumb thing a little. Uh, I think. I think. I think that's how it is. I'm not very sure. I could just be... I could just be doing some wild mass guessing, but, you know. It's dark out. The night sky looks kind of fantastic. I like it. Does the moon move? It does. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm going to slowly, um starve to death or die of thirst I'm dying of thirst oh orange hoodie I don't know if I should really change into that because I kind of like the way I, my guy looks right now let's see what let's see how it looks orange hoodie like that like that guy in the I am legend yeah sure why not let's put it on there I'm Frank apparently and I am legend now um, I think that's the guy's name Frank and I am legend and that the the mannequin or whatever was wearing an orange hoodie I think so you know and he shoots at it Oh, here we go. I don't know if I drove this already. I might have already. All right, let's get out of this dump. Yeah, you kind of look around, see the second player can sit in there and use his gun and stuff like that. All right, let's drive. It's probably gonna die instantly. Yep. <laughs> I barely made any progress out of town, but it was a it was a well um it was a it was a good effort. Let's see. Since I'm by myself, I'm trying to think of what other things to talk about. Um, I would also like to mention the developer of this game. He's like uh, super nice. Since um, I think he frequents the forums on this game, and a lot of people um, ask him questions um, when he's gonna like fix this or fix that, and he's like, "I'll get around to it." You know, uh, this game uh, got updated a lot, but I think since it's the school year now, I think started. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if he's still in school, I have no idea, because there was an offhanded mention, as I said before, that he was, like, in class, or, like, in school, still, like, high school or something, I have no idea, um, but yeah, since, I think that's why I haven't seen any updates, I've seen a lot of updates for this game in the summer, like, in July and in August and everything like that, or, or June and July, I've seen a lot of updates for these game, uh, for this game, I remember the first time I played this, um, I played it, I think, when it came out, the day it came out on Steam, uh, first impression of it, I was like, wow, this looks, the graphics aren't really that fantastic, you know, I, was, I wasn't expecting much, but, you know, I wasn't expecting it like this, you know, and all that crap, uh, you know, I was just like, oh man, this game, well, compared to like the forest and stuff like that, I'd rather play this, but you know, I, I don't own the forest yet, um, but I have it on the schedule, and we, I think we might buy it later this week, next week, uh, but, uh, yeah, I was like, this, this game doesn't seem that really interesting. It doesn't, uh, you know, I was, you know, I was watching, I think, I, what was funny about that is I remember this so well the first time I played this. Uh, I remember on TV, I was watching the game show network in the background. And I think it was that show, it's not on TV anymore, I don't think. It was called uh, It Takes a Church, where there's a show where people go to this church or whatever. It's kind of like Matchmaker a little bit. Um, where it's like, you know, or whatever that show was called, Dating Game or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and it was like that, except in a church, for some reason, it's like three, this woman or man, uh, picks between three bachelors or bachelorettes. And, you know, they tell about like, oh, I, I do this and this and this. Anyway, uh, the show's not important. Um, but I remember, I remember that being on the background and I was playing this and, um, the more I played Unturned, like, when I first started, I was not really used to it, because the controls were just, like, really strange. They were, like, the complete opposite, almost, of other games I've played, like DayZ on the Arma 2 mod, or Infestation Survivor Series. It was complete opposite. The controls were a little bit more different, like, tabs to go to your inventory, and the way to, you know, put stuff in your inventory is you have to right-click it, and then you have to right-click it on there and everything. 
uh yeah and it was like as soon as i played more of it at first you know it's tough to get into it but it's like you spend like an hour into this game you'll you'll understand especially if you're playing with somebody else and you both experience it for the first time you start to get really good at it and that's what happened with me and spencer we got really good at this game uh funny enough i'm playing a zombie survival game and uh i recently found uh my this the first book i ever bought on amazon which was uh the zombie survival guide i don't know if you guys uh have uh, made, uh, written by Max Brooks, the guys who, the, the guys, um, the dude who made, uh, wrote, um, World War Z, no relation to the movie. Um, I remember getting this book, and I have literally the order receipt right here from Amazon.ca, uh, with my address, and, uh, my P.O. box and everything like that. Zombies Baba Guy, Protection Against the Undead, subtotal was, at the time, it was... Eighteen dollars and forty-two cents, uh, and this this is the date, literally. Um, it says, "I got this on June fourteenth, two thousand and ten." So that was four years ago. I got that book, and uh, I read it once. Four years ago, literally four years ago, I read it once. Um, and then a family member of mine asked to borrow it. I think um, they finished it, but I never got it back. Um, and they recently moved out, so um, I found my book again, which is fantastic. I was like, sweet. I just need, that's one book that uh, that we finally got back. We have another book that we gave them um, that they wanted to see, uh, to read. And um, we're still waiting to see where that location of that book is. It's missing in action right now. Hands saw, what is that? Ah, the Bonjour Clip. Excellent. Oh, that's not for this gun, it's for this. Or it's not. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh. I could. I didn't see him. I got like. I got instantly. He just. He just. He just. He just jumped me. He ganked me from behind. I did not. I did not um see that dude coming. Oh, here comes army dude. Um, uh, yeah, that's what's uh kind of a little bit annoying about that this game. This one downfall is that. There is no sound effect of when you get hurt, like when the zombie bites you or something like that. You just, your screen shakes a little, I think, and the screen gets a little bit grayer, and then you're like, what happened? And it's like, oh, I got bitten? Oh, okay. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't expect that, you know, because you couldn't hear the zombie. And yeah, and there's like, I don't even think there's barely any walking sound effects. Well, let me, let me hear it. Okay, there is a walking sound effect, but it's very quiet. Um, I don't think you can hear the zombies coming at you. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to test that. Um, when it comes to, uh, I'm gonna put the night vision goggles on so I can see a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna take those off. That was actually worse than I thought. A lot worse. Okay. Oh, what time is it in the game? It's nighttime. That's basically all I can basically guess. From that oh still hey i got my warrior points still have that point apparently i think when you die you lose one point in something uh and then you have to like get it again oh my voice cracked a little uh i think that's what the death thing said i forgot to text back spencer hmm. oops let me, let, me, let me text him back about like an hour in yes period I like having good uh, punctuation and good uh, grammar when it comes to texts. A lot of people really don't do that because um, it's like they want to get it like really simple and like quick. But I always have make sure I have like commas and uh, apostrophes, periods, capitalization. You know, I always do that. And, you know, I'm always I'm kind of like a grammar nut when it comes to um, anything like comments online or um, texting or whatever. You know, stuff like that. It's basically all I care about. And, and when it comes to reading uh, stories online and stuff like that, you know. What's that little circle in my corner? What is that? You guys see that? That little, um... Oh, I hit the, I hit the mic. Um, you see that little white corner? That little white circle in the bottom? Oh, my body! My old corpse! Wait, hold on. Take my poncho. Oh, come on! I found my old. No, I found my old crap, which is good. Take my 
gone. I like to do this, um, sort everything out in a kind of neat little package. Take my sailor fatigues. Take my poncho. Put on the pants. And put on the poncho. Jerk. Alright, good. And I got my magazine. Oh, jeez! I thought he was dead. Die. Oh, great. Now we're all slightly gray land again. Okay. Put that right there. Oh, see, I'm barely shaking. Yeah, so you shake slowly the more you get damaged. Oh, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Oh, man! Oh, I gotta run. Oh, crap. Ugh. Mm. Ah, gotta run. Hauling ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mmm. You gotta make those grunts when you, when you, uh, when you smack a zombie to the ground. You just go, mmm, take that. Mmm. How do you like that, you know? Stupid stuff like that. But that's just me. It's kind of like when you do that, when you kind of go, like, when you're jumping off the walls and like Ninja Gaiden or the Batman video game on any issue, I kind of like go, mm, yeah, mm, you know, you just get the rhythm down and the timing right. It's kind of awesome. You kind of get that a little bit. Bipod. Yeah, I really need a bipod right now. <laughs> um, speaking of um, pods, um, sounds like bipod. Uh, Apple released a uh, new. Uh, I'm releasing an iPhone sale, so announced the Apple Watch, which is um, kind of weird because Samsung already made something like that, uh, I think a year ago, or not too long ago. Like they already made a, something like that, where it's like you, you can browse the web on your watch, check the time, and everything like that, and call people with it. As long as you have like the, um, I think I think the way Samsung did it was like you have your watch, but it's like a peripheral to the phone. I could be wrong, you know. I I wouldn't mind to be proven wrong on that. Um, but yeah, because. Uh, my dad made a joke about that, where it's just kind of like, a, wait, didn't didn't Samsung already do this? Um, and I'm like, yeah, they, yeah, they did actually. I remember, I remember the commercials for it. Take that. Okay, I'm gonna look around for a bit, make sure. Oh, oh see, it's a good thing I didn't get distracted by my skill window. I'm gonna look around, make sure nobody's attacking. I'm gonna wait like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's nothing here. Okay, time to do some more. Time to go into vitality. All right, there. Ready to rock this. Oh, excuse me. I ate tacos for supper, so I'm gonna be kind of burping sometimes. And I had some coke. Um, I rarely drink soda now um, nowadays uh, because I'm, I'm trying to cut a little bit of caffeine out of my, um, you know, my my daily life kind of. Um, like, I don't mind drinking soda, but I, I, usually, I usually just stick to Sprite. Um, I like, I like drinking that stuff. Um, yeah, so, because I, I've heard that, like, um, you know, I think having caffeine would make you more anxious. And thus, you know, you get more worried and have anxiety attacks, which, um, not sure if that's true. It probably is, because usually when I, um, oh, I got a shirt on, actually. Wow. Um, because usually when I'm... You know, when I drink caffeine, like, a couple hours uh, later or whatever, I'm shaking my leg and stuff like that, you know. So I'm trying to get rid of caffeine. I, I rarely drink Coke now. This is, I only have, like, one glass a day the whole day. Um, you know, so. I, I, you know, nothing wrong with, you know, drinking soda. I just think that, you know, if you, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, you know, be athletic, I'm, you know. Do yoga and everything like that. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page yoga, by the way. Um, great, great uh, thing to um, exercise to. It's fantastic. I'm in pretty good shape myself. I don't want to show it because then it would just make me look a little bit egotistical if I flexed or whatever, even though we've done that in the past streams. Uh, so, yeah, I just I don't drink much Coke. Eh. 
this game has like a complete lack of music, and it's just always birds chirping constantly. Um, you know, at least Seven Days to Die, it's got whispering in it, and spookiness. It's like, ooh. Um, yeah, at least it's got that going for it. Um, huh. Oh, food! Yes! I forgot I had some. I don't know what civilian bullets do. Oh, military bullets? Oh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna eat that right now. Yoink. Or chomp. Why did I say yoink? Alright. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I really shouldn't, though. Why can't... Why can't you combine that? That's weird. Um, I can't check a map right now. I'm just going in a random direction. See where it takes me. I wish you could, um... I wish there, is there a map? I'm gonna check the settings real quick. HUD home button? Is it home? Okay, that's turning off the HUD. Why would you want to do that? Uh, space, other, left control, de-equip. No, uh, no, no map button. Huh. Weird. I think that would come with that at least. You know. I'm trying to remember what we do for Throwback Thursday today. Oh, Red Faction. What is that? You see that? It's moving away. Did you guys see that? That was weird. It was like a propane tank or something. It was like sliding away from me. I could just... There it is. What? Oh, it's an animal. I can't really tell because everything's all black and white. I got 1% health. I think I'm going to die or something right now. Might be over for me soon. It's running away from me. I can't, sh I can't shoot it. Well, I guess I could try. Oh, and by the way, if there's anybody under 18 watching this stream, you should really cover your eyes when it comes to the naked characters in this game. Oof. Okay, let's see. Don't try to run, piggy. Still chasing after it. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, I'm shaking. Mmm. I didn't kill it, though. But it was a good try. Missed. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm shaking. Look at that. I forgot you can do that. You can add sights. Oh, I should have picked up some red dot sights. Damn. Oh, there's no way they can escape now. Oh. Three shots and it's not dead. Waffle House. Okay, well, never mind. Three shots and it's not dead. That's legitimately fair. Um, Kind of weird. Uh, okay, let's see. Switch the gun. Oh, man. I'm just shaking like, like mad. Oh, what was that? Okay. Just gotta make sure there's nobody zombies behind me. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Boom! Didn't kill it, but... Get away! Side slam. Or whatever. Ah, oh, there you go. Endurance. There we go. I am destroyer of evil. Or uh, whatever. Alright, there's two other zombies coming my way. It's funny, um, this is the most I've ever fought zombies in any of the games similar to these. I uh, need survival. Open world survival games. I remember playing Seven Days to Die. While I always go on this server called Zombie Stomp PVE Two, uh, and uh, the great people on there, by the way. But I rarely encounter zombies, uh, and it, it, it's like it turns into like much like Daisy. It turns into a walking simulator. But you know, I'll take this with magazine. Okay, time to reload. One shot. Can I crouch? Oh, the Mountie. I'm handsome, I'm brave. I 
I'm dead. Or whatever. I was gonna make a zombie joke like I eat flesh, but it'd be too long of a pun. Mo How does orange juice get moldy? I ask you. I remember there was this like, you know, like, how does orange juice get moldy? I don't remember. I don't think it ever goes bad, per se. Because doesn't orange juice have a really long expiry date or something like that? Like, you know, it, it stays fresh for, I think, a really long time. It depends what kind of orange juice we're talking about here. If it's the one in the, you know, like the carton, like that one, I'm pretty sure it would last until, like, next year. It's kind of like getting moldy soda. Okay, that guy was just standing there doing nothing. Oh. Oh, I can't hit it. Oh! Almost had him. Okay, we're back. Oh, thank God we got color now. Okay, we're going back to that, um... And wasn't I already there already? I was probably already there. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Kind of, kind of weird when you're alone. There's like, you know, because I have the TV muted and everything like that. So it's like silence except with the game. So just alone. I would turn on music, but I'd probably get in trouble for that. Hmm. I think of what other things to talk about besides this game. Hmm. Nothing's really coming to mind. Save us. Safe for all. Okay. It's ironic. It's rocking that shirt. I'm wearing a cop shoot cop uniform. Uh, get away from me, sailor. I had enough sailors. I played Shemu. I'm tired of these sailors. Bad joke. Alright. Sledgehammer. I remember Spencer said that Sledgehammer was one of the best weapons to use because it's like instant kill. I did not know you could do that. Okay. Put the school pack. Take out the hammer. I'm gonna rock the hammer like Thor. I'm mighty Thor. The clip. I don't know how much bullets are in that, too, apparently. Okay. Scrap metal. I'm pretty sure the cloth and the scrap metal can be used for something, but when it comes to me playing these types of games, I don't really like to um, use anything for crafting or making things, uh, except seven days, because um, that's really important, actually. But like when it comes to like games like DayZ or something like that, where it's like you got to set up like, you know, if you get like the scrap metal, you should make a gun, you know. Infestation has the same thing where you use scrap metal or creams and stuff like that to make bandages and cloth and stuff like that. I have not figured out how to do that in the game. So I usually just ignore it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to use any of these scrap items because I don't see the point in using them. I just pick up what I can use, like food and stuff. And I'm pretty sure the farming thing in this game isn't so bad, but I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Take that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see, I lose one point, I think, in everything. Okay. Back to upgraded warrior again. When I get max warrior, I can legitimately call myself the ultimate warrior. Okay, we'll put the... Ah, oh. oh, yes. The outfield. Angels in the outfield. Angels with an outfield. <laughs> yes. All right, now we're talking. Oh, or not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So I, stop saying, I don't think you can combine clips together, which is weird, considering that, you know, you'd think they would say, yeah, you can do that. Go ahead. Can you actually use these? Can I actually use these slugs in any of these guns? Probably not this gun, of course. Oh, something's coming at me. I can hear it. There we go. Oh, that was cool. What, what can you use this slug for? One slug per shot, small spread shell. Okay, well, I guess it's for a shotgun. Probably a rifle or something like that. What's this? How do you crouch in this game? I'm going to look this up. Oh, yeah. It's got the, it's got the um, daisy. We press X and Z for crouching and everything like that. Right, I, see, I see. I see how this is. It's not back yet. And it's 11 clock almost 11 30 he's still not back yet he knows how i worry <laughs> oh, can vegetables all right love you potato chips 
buckshot. Oh man, these buckshots. See now, if I had a shotgun, I'm just got I got a police shirt on. Oh, can I wear this uh, doctor coat on top of that? Let's see. Let's see. Nope. I'm gonna wear the cop uniform. I can I can, I can pretend to be like Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Okay. Canola the bar. Hey, I think the stuff respawned. Moldy carrot. Not gonna eat that. So you see, it, it, it's kind of a shame though that um, most of these games don't implement the idea of hey, there's a lake nearby. You can drink water out of that. You know, you think they would have that as an idea to be like, yep, you can drink water with um in in the lake, um provided it's not contaminated, of course. Um, I remember, I know Seven Days to Die, I'm, I'm bringing this game up a lot for some reason, but I know Seven Days, uh, allows you to, I thought it was a truck at first, because look at it, does that not look like a truck, like this be the back part, and this be the front, except when you look at it from the front way that way, but like, it kind of looked like a truck for a second there, so, yeah, like pick up, oh, I can barely see where I'm going, I wish there was more music. Like, why is there music on the radio or something like that? Like, kind of like Far Cry 3 has. Oh, great, the military base. We're not going there. We're just going to drive here. Oh, please don't tell me it's, it's dying. This car is... I can't see where I'm going. I'm, like, driving around in random directions. Well, that's exactly what's actually happening. Why am I talking to myself? I'm arguing with myself now. All right, and the car's dead. Look at it go. Sledgehammer. Ah, oh, there's an army guy. I'm gonna take care of him. I'm gonna crouch. Get a really good shot on this guy. Let me just slowly approach him. Okay, hold on. See, he sees me, but he knows that I overpowered him. <laughs> oh well. Cool. Alright. Oh, for a second I thought that was the Nexus symbol from wrestling. Oof. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, you know, Steam's getting a lot of survival horror games on the market. Like, Project Zomboid is another example that's kind of like this, except it's isometric. And uh, that game is actually pretty, pretty boss. Or whatever. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. So a really, really awesome game to try out. Um, I remember, we <laughs> were giving our characters um, really stupid names. So um, we were quoting like Trail Park Boys. I hit the pop filter. Sorry. Um, we were giving them, like really stupid names. Like I remember we were calling, we called one of the survivors um, Starsky and Gut, which was uh, that was a really funny name. Um, I remember there was another one we called uh, Inflatable Elvis. That was another name from Trail Park Boys. Another nickname. Uh, let's see, potato chips, canned vegetables, okay, can I use that for water, is that, like, not even a possibility? No, apparently canned vegetables doesn't lower down your hydration, that's weird, or your dehydration, as, I, as it would actually be correctly be called. Oh, I don't think I've been here before. No, I don't think so. This is this is an interesting area. It's a good thing though that the. Uh, oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Moldy carrot. Don't want that. A hat. I'll put on the hat then. Okay. Wood hey, wooden shield. Is that, is that actually like helpful? Oh, wooden, oh, okay. Makes sense. Wooden shields literally to protect you. He's distracted. Hey, uh, my dead body again. 
I found more of my stuff I dropped. Desert helmet. Put that on it put that on instead. Let's see. Could put this on instead. Uh oh, evil fireman. Or undead fireman. Oh, I gotta put on those pants. I really should put these pants on. I don't wanna be pantsless. Police baton. Police baton. Barrette. Do they actually does this use um civilian bullets? Let's see. Level magazine. Let's let's just assume that it does. I think I think they can sense me. Purification tablets. Poncho. Oh yeah. No, I'm no, I'm ready for some for some sweet combat. Something. Oh. I got the safety on. Oh man, I saw that guy. Oh, somebody's home. I can't tell. I'm looking out my window. Dog's barking. Maybe maybe Spencer's coming back. Uh oh. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Knocking him down. Oh, or not. I guess he's not home yet. Or is he? Um, no, he's not. <laughs> that trail of just just mayhem. Well, okay, these guys are just standing there. Oh my god, I, th I thought they were going to be... Uh, they look smaller far away. Get away. Back off. <laughs> Back off, buddy. Oh! Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I didn't kill him. Boom! Whew, that was tense. Look at the destruction I have uh, left behind. Moldy tomato. I didn't know they dropped that. I tell you, sledgehammer is probably the best weapon in this game. Okay, let's see. Minor helmet. Yeah. What's this? Apple juice box. Oh, thank God. Well, I don't think this does anything. So let's. Uh... All right. We're making good progress here. How many skill points did I have? Hundreds. Oh, boom. There. I need more immunity. I need more health anyway. Does that actually help? Less disease and more vitality. Sweet. Firehouse gets the flashlight. That's cool. That'd be very helpful, actually, if it was nighttime. Was that orange glow stick? Hmm. I didn't know they had glow sticks in this game. Didn't know they put that in there. Red one? Yeah, red glow stick. Bolts. Probably used for crafting, but I'm not, I don't craft. I I rarely craft in this game because um. I have no idea what the crafting recipes are, so... Oh. Oh. Oh, take that. Undead, uh... Chef Excellence I just killed. Golf club. Um, I, I will recommend anybody who has who have just started, uh... You know, who's considering getting this game. Not a lot of space, by the way. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Um... If you find a sledgehammer, use it. Because weapons never break in this game. As far as I know. Uh, they there, There's no durability or anything like that. So, definitely get a sledgehammer. It kills everything in one hit. And it's um, really rewarding to swing this, uh, this uh, beast around at the undead. Okay. Oh, something's here. Somebody's here. Oh, undead sailor. Winchester clip. Cool. Oh man. Yeah, and if you're gonna look up for uh, look up uh, what weapon is for what, like in terms of like guns and stuff like that, like in ammunition, I would recommend um, searching up what weapon or what ammo 
goes to what and which gun. Because um, that would actually probably save a lot of time and frustration when you figure out that, like, civilian bullets or the Swift magazine doesn't work for, like, a Magnum or uh, the Barrett gun or whatever. Oh! I could sneak up on me, huh? There you go. Rest in peace. Uh, rip in peace. Oh, no. Oh, sweet. Warrior. Something's on upstairs. It's not Seinfeld, obviously. It's probably another sitcom. It's on, it's on a comedy or whatever right now. Comedy Network or Comedy Central or, or whatever the Canadian equivalency of it is. There's a stick, apparently, I can use. It. See, yeah, see, there's no... I mean, yeah, sure, you see blood spray from out of you, but there's no, like, grunting or, you know, no crunch sound when you get hurt or something like that. No scratching sound or nothing, which is a little bit weird. Um, because then you don't know where the zombies are coming from, so. It's a, little, it's a little weird that there's no crunch sound effect. There you go. Oh, more of them. Take that. How many skill, how much skill points do I have now? 82. Let's put that in, uh, survival. Boom. Boom! This will help me starve less over time. The ones that are on the ground are really hard to kill because you're not because you can't really get a good shot at them with melee weapons or well with guns it's probably a lot easier. But with like when it comes to like melee weapons, it's hard to um, take a good shot at them. Oh, good! Five bullets, sweet. All right, got full clip. Oh. Swift magazine. Is for not for this gun, and it's even empty. It's empty, even. I mean, it's even empty, so that doesn't help. Um, do, do. Some big chairs. Um, there we go. Yeah, uh, you know, lack of music in this game is kind of. It does kind of make the game boring a little. So, you know, I'd if you know if you're like me. And you like to listen to music while you play games. Rec I definitely recommend it for this game. Uh, there we go. Jump it through. Crowbar. That's cool. Granola bar. Moldy carrot. Is anything fresh at all when it comes to fruits and vegetables on the ground or in fridges, for that matter? I'm gonna eat that granola bar. Yum. Yeah, it's a sitcom upstairs. I can hear a laugh track. Baseball bat, that's a cool weapon. Oh, what's that? What was that? Oh, just that, okay. Double juice box. Let's use, let's drink some of that again. It only goes down a little bit, like, I think, like, 9%. Oh, it's turning night time in the game. Drink the soda. Oh, man! Ugh. Well, that was close. I will admit, I'm not even gonna try to sound cocky. I'm just that was legitimately almost. That was like really close. Oh, I can't cook that raw bacon. Oh, wow, wish I could cook that right now. But you know, maybe I should have picked up that blowtorch. I don't even know if that works. The Mountie, boom. All the orange juice. Yeah, like I said before, how does orange juice get moldy? And who puts their grocery clothes on the top of a shelf? What is that? Uh, what is that? Another granola bar. Right on. Ah, oh, it's my dead body again. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, the cult. Or not. Don't need it. I don't need... Why, am I, why do I even have this? I have no bullets in this. Alright, let's see. Why did I even equip that? Okay, I'm going to take that car, and I'm going to drive out of here. 10%. Got some slow backing up problems. Yeah, so um, in case you're just joining us, or in case you're just watching this on YouTube, whichever, um, Spencer's still not here, because um, he is driving a forklift in RL. I meant RL means real life. 
Um, think of Shemu, but less fun when it comes to driving forklifts. Because you don't race with them. Man, okay, I'm not driving that. Let's just let's just let's just go the, down the road. I'd rather do that instead of driving a vehicle like that. All right. Okay, let's see. I kind of do like how it's nighttime. The visibility is not so low. Hopefully, they don't change that. I sincerely hope they keep it like the way it looks right now when it comes to nighttime, because that would um really suck if they like kind of like what dark and you're like I can't see anything. What do I look like right now? Wearing an army hat. And, uh, sledgehammer with a poncho, police uniform, and sailor pants. <laughs> I remember, um, speaking of sailors, uh, I remember when, um, me and Susie used to work in a grocery store, we would always write these, like, kind of, like, weird memoirs to ourselves. Um, when we're just sitting there being like, hmm, like, we always write stuff. Kind of like, it's, it's kind of like Twitter on paper, um, that we did. I remember Spencer came home one time on his lunch break, and he said, he said, Brandon, this is what I wrote down. I'm like, what? And he started to talk, and he talks about these, like, these customers that came in, like, this dude came in, um, and he said this to me, and blah, 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 and we talked about this and this, and blah, blah, blah. and then, um, and where it goes off, um, on Spencer's paper thing, it goes off on him talking about <laughs> swearing, um, he's like, I don't get, he said, like, Spencer said, like, um, I don't get why people use the term swear like a sailor i mean sailor moon was a sailor i mean sailor moon she was a sailor don't did she swear a lot you know you know stupid stuff like that and uh <laughs> i remember when he read that to me i was laughing um and i was kind of tired because i had just woke up because uh, this is when i got up usually in the afternoon at like uh 12 or some and stuff like that and usually i came home at 12 and he would and i was laughing <laughs> when i was in bed um and it was, like, really funny because we were just like, yeah, I don't know why they called it Sailor Moon and why they still use that term, swear like a sailor. Um, you know, Sailor Moon, if she wanted to stick to the sailor name, she would have sworn like crazy. Have that sailor mouth. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it was, like, stupid stuff like that. It was really funny. <laughs> um, I'm texting him. I'm going to text Spencer, see if he's still missing in action. I'm going to ask him, where is he? Where? Because it's going to take a while for me to get on shore. Where are... Where are you? Question mark. Send. There. I texted Spencer saying, where are you? He better be coming home soon. Because it is literally an hour and a half in and I have still... Like, he's still not here. It's almost midnight, which is ridiculous. I wonder if he got a hotel or something. He, no, probably not. I think it's late at night, so I'd, they probably wouldn't drive at this kind of hour right now. They probably wouldn't drive this late. That would really suck if he got into an accident. But I'm sure that, that wouldn't happen. Oh, why am I, what am I talking about? I really shouldn't talk about that depressing result of what would happen. The worst case scenario. Uh, let's talk about this game. I'm sure he's fine. Okay. Okay, I think I was already here before. Pretty sure I was. I'm on my way back. He texted me. I'll probably be around there around 11.45. Okay. Period. Send. Okay. So he'll be back at around 11.45. That's good. Boom. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah, I was already here. Oh, jeez. Okay, I was just checking my Facebook real quick. Nothing. Enter. There is no gas. 
Okay, well, whatever. It's like silent now. Okay, there's some crickets and stuff like that, but it's like super quiet. Take that. Guy didn't even see me coming. I think the zombies tend to respawn. I wish the equipment, the loot would respawn. I'm not sure if it does, but the zombies respawn. So why wouldn't the loot? Take that mailbox. Is that guy wearing later hosen? Okay, so he'll be back soon. So in like 10 minutes from now, Spencer will return. He'll be fashionably late to the stream. He'll only have like 10, 15 minutes probably to explain what happened. If not, he probably won't even let his presence be known because he's got to clean himself up and everything like that. So by the time he's probably done all that and comes downstairs, he will probably... You know, the stream will probably be over. So whatever. He missed out on um, my... Uh, well, whatever you want to call this, my um, uh, playthrough through this. Um, it'd be great if he was here playing with me right now. That'd be sweet. But, you know, you know how real life works. You know, he had to get forklift training and, you know, whatever it takes to get that paycheck. But it's good, though, that we're getting some income finally. And that's how that's how we bought Seven Days to Die and everything like that. Thanks to him, we got um, some really good games like Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that. Which, by the way, we will be streaming in October, the first week of October. Uh, we will be streaming Five Nights at Freddy's for Twitch Tuesday in October. So be ready for that. And I'm hope I hope the game is still popular by then. That people still talk about it and it's still awesome. Um, so I hope people will still remember that game by the time October rolls around, which I'm sure people will. I mean, it's only, f it's a $5 game. I mean, it can't be that forgettable. It's fantastic from what I've seen. You know, I've seen Let's Plays of it, so I haven't played it myself. I want to save up that game for when I try it the first time on the stream so you can get my genuine reaction so I don't have to, like, phony it up for you. I'm just looking at myself on this on the uh, Twitch, uh, on the XSplit thing. I just wanted to make sure everything looked good. You know how it is. Okay, put up the chat up again. There we go. So far, nothing happening in the chat, but because there's zero viewers right now on Twitch. Ah, oh, that's probably another place I went to already. I'm just going in a big fat circle. All right. Yep, I was already here. Let's hope the loot responds because the zombies did. So. Make sure there's nobody to know where the zombies around me except this army guy. Yeah, see, those guys, those crawling guys are really hard to get rid of, man. They're just so difficult. Oh, wow, painkillers. Great. You know, that's wonderful. i going to take some right now. Probably going to slowly go down, but NATO magazine. Yeah, because I got an assault rifle enough to use that. I got the right gun for it, apparently. Uh, let's see, still got, still got this gun. I really should use this rifle more often. But I don't. Ugh, I'm leaning. Whoa, it's like Deus Ex or DayZ or what other games you get? Insurgency. You know, games like that where you can lean and do that. Cool. Okay, not going down there. Sandbags? Yeah, like, I really need to use that right now. As it currently stands, I need to eat potato chips. Delicious. Oh, speaking of potato chips, me and Spencer tried the Doritos Roulette earlier this afternoon. Um, you know, all the commercials um, for the Roulette, it's always like, some chips are cheesy, but there's always going to be that one chip that's really spicy. And then remember, there's this really stupid commercial for it where it's like, anybody who doesn't want to take it turns into a chicken or a cow or a pig or a penguin. It's like, a penguin really? What does it have to do with anything? I can understand because the commercial, the guy's like, it's, again, like Russian roulette where it's like, oh, I can't do it. Oh, he, he poofs into a chicken costume. You know, he turns into a chicken, literally, like man-sized chicken costume thing. Uh, but all the other people were like, penguin. And, like, all, all weird animals have nothing to do with this, the idea of fear. Like a cat costume, I think, was another one. Or a bear, like a teddy bear costume, I think, was another one. Like a bear out costume. Uh, and it was like really, I like I personally thought that was a really stupid commercial. So me and sister were like, really? 
It was super spicy chip. Is it like wasabi spicy? We're just like, oh man, you know, it's super spicy. I need a glass of water. My nose is running. Blah blah blah. Or is it like, like, is it spicy? Like in terms of like, oh, it's just like you know, it's like the heat and sweet chili heat, where it's not really that spicy. Um, so we decided to get the bag today, and we took turns on each chip we ate. I had the first one, normal. Had the second one, normal. But then it slowly turned spicy and. If I were to say, uh, if I were to explain how spicy it was, I was already there. Um, it just tingles the tongue a little, and I think the roof of your mouth. It's, it, it usually is just spicy there. Maybe the back of the throat, maybe not really, but it's like spicy on the tongue, and that's really it. It's not really like super spicy like the commercial makes it out to be, where it's like you gotta have some serious guts to try and eat that spicy chip, but you can't do it. But if you don't, and if you don't do it, you'll turn into a chicken. So that means you got no guts. But it's like we tried it. Not really that spicy. As we were eating them, eating chips, we were just like, okay, that one was spicy. We weren't like, oh man, that one was spicy. Oh man, we need a glass of water, cold glass of water right now, stat. You know, because we always assumed we assumed it was gonna be like hot salsa hot, where it's like, whew. That's really hot stuff, you know, or like uh, Frank's Red Hot Hot, or, uh, you know, Buffalo Wing, like Spicy Buffalo Ruffles Hot kind of thing, you know. You know, I thought it was going to be like that kind of hot, you know, like, whew, like the spicy, like the Kung Pao Chicken in Seinfeld, George likes, likes the chicken spicy. I was probably already there. I, I wow, There is not many locations in this game. Um, I guess I stand corrected for that. 20 minutes until the stream is over. And, um, well, we did a lot of things in this game. We, you know, we killed a lot of zombies. It died like three times, three or four times maybe. Um, so, you know, we get a good chunk of this game done. You know, the sledgehammer is overpowered as heck, but, you know. Oh, okay, I thought there was a zombie right behind me. Don't need that. Okay. Canned cola. I do actually... Actually, I'm starting to think that this stuff does respawn. Gulp. I'm starting to think that this stuff does actually respawn over time because that cola wasn't there before, I don't think. Oh, great. I just... I remember I drove out of here for a little bit and then kind of... I, I'm back, so... No, nothing really happened. At least it's daytime in the game now. do do, -do. Flashlight's still there, and the glow sticks are still there. Oh, zombies. Ah, sailor. Boom. Golf club sticking into the chair, like literally stabbing the sofa chair thing. Love seat or whatever. Why do they call it a love seat, by the way? I remember there's like... I remember we had a couch or whatever. I'm not sure what a love seat is. I'm is I'm not sure if it's the one with the two cushions or just the one cushion, like like chair. I think it's the one with the one seat thing kind of thing going on with it right now. Katana. Um, I'm gonna use that instead. I mean the sledgehammer's great, but I like the katana. It's so fast. Oh thank goodness. Okay, I thought for a second there, ladies and gentlemen, I thought it was gonna be like large molded moldy water or something like that i'm like oh no really water gets moldy now too but i was generally surprised genuinely not generally all right let's see what else we got here i thought you could pick these up like these chess pieces but you can't ah, fighting a target i'm gonna make i'm gonna give it a face There. It's a smiley face now. Look at that. He's cheerful. <laughs> it kind of does look like a smiley face now. <laughs> Never thought that would actually work. I think you can double tap to sprint. No, you can't. I thought you always thought you could. So I'm just going on upstairs. Construction vest. Oh, another zombie. Come at me, zombie. Come on. You know you want some of this. Yeah. Apparently, hitting him with a sword still makes a smack sound. You know, instead of a uh, slicing sound effect. But what can you do? Ah, oh, Magnum. Like in Zoolander. What kind of magazines does this use? Yeah, the Winchester with an E clip. Okay, I think I saw one of those. 
in another town somewhere. So we're gonna we're gonna go look for that right now. Outfield. Swift magazine. Moldy what's that moldy? Potato? Really? Can I break that? Can I go in there? Let's see what happens. I don't think you can break it yet. <laughs> Alright. You know, if you would be doing that in real life, swinging your katana at wooden, like, bookshelves and shit like... Oh, and stuff like that. Almost said... Almost swore a little. Oops. Um, oh, I'm gonna wear that cape. Gotta rock that magic cloak. We don't need that poncho anymore. I, I like... I like having the cape. Look at that. That look awesome. Oh, ho! Oh, I didn't hurt my legs when I l and jumped out of the window. I think you can, but at the height I was at, I couldn't hurt myself. I'm gonna put on these grocer bottom pants. Let's let's do that. There. Now, now I'm not wearing sailor fatigues. You start to get you start to get tired of the clothes you wear in this game. You're just like, yeah, okay, I'm wearing sailor outfit. Can I change it to something else now? You know, stuff like that. All right. Bonjour clip. Eh. Oh. Alright, let's see. What else is there to do in this game? I'm not going to do the farming aspect, which I'm pretty sure is pretty good. I, You know, I'm pretty sure the farming aspect in this game is pretty awesome. I would, I would, I would bet money on that. Why am I picking up a lot of guns? I really should stop picking up weapons that I don't plan on using. There's the Colt. The barrette, Dixie hat, all my stuff when I died. Back to here. There's that truck. It's smoking like crazy. All right, we're gonna take a random direction and go that way. Probably gonna meet and get back at the farmlands most likely. Running. So, folks, uh. I probably mentioned this already, but I'm thinking, thinking of um, watching the anime Kill the Kill. Uh, I know what the show is about, so you know I'm not going to be like this is weird. You know, um, a lot of the writers on Under the Castle recommended it to me. Jen recommended it to me, saying you should definitely check it out if you don't mind the silly fan service in it, because I don't think you're supposed to take the fan service seriously in that show to begin with. Um, but she definitely said, like, yeah, definitely check it out. See if it's your thing, you know. I don't really watch much animes. Um, so she said, like, definitely check it out. See if it's, um, you know, and I know I know the basic idea of the story. I've looked it up on Netflix. I've, you know, I've seen, you know, GIFs and stuff online, fan art and everything like that. I've seen it on, like, websites like Know Your Meme and everything like that where they're just like, yep, fan art. Oh, God! Yeah. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna ask you for trying to do a sneak attack on me, you jerks! Oh, oh, you want some more? There, I got some good. Look at that! Look at that skills. Those are amazing skills. All right. Gonna drink the bottle of water. Oh yeah. Gonna drink eat the granola bar? What's this? Is that Hey brand cereal? Alright, cool. I didn't know the guy from I didn't know the kid at Game of Thrones made his own cereal. Bad joke, sorry. I will not say that again. Well this is new. Definitely the campsite's a new area. Everything's kind of grey, so you know take that. <laughs> I can never get tired of that death animation. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I can never get tired of that. Where it's just like instantly fall over and die. Amazing. Um, hey, a cot. Oh, let's, see. Uh, let's, put it, let's put it there. Can I use it? Claim. What can I do with it? It's like I can claim it. Like can I like lie down on it and sleep? Does that, does that recharge my batteries? What, what, what do you do? What do you do when you claim the like? Hmm. 
Never thought I'd be so perplexed by a bed usage in this game. Never thought I'd be so confused by it. Hey, we can go to that real quick before we end the stream for today, ladies and gentlemen. Before we end this, we're gonna go to that distance thing over there. Hey, sandcastle, can I destroy it? My god, and the sandcastle is invulnerable. Pickaxe. It's probably for uh, finding stuff. Oh, I fell in the water. Swimming. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, I, I basically know what Kill the Kill is. I know the basic outline of the story. I know most of the characters. Like, I know not their motivations or anything, but I know what their names are. I know... I don't want to pronounce them because I might get the pronunciation. I might butcher the way it's pronounced. Uh, but I may watch the show. And if anybody's watching this on YouTube um, or or anything... Let me know and say, like, if it's, if it's worth it. And, uh, you know, like, uh, and say, like, is it recommended? Should I watch it? Because um, there's new episodes, I think. So, like, should I watch it dubbed or should I watch it sub? Not very sure. I think I'm going to watch it sub. Oh, he's back. He's returned. The prodigal son has returned. <laughs> uh, okay. Swimming. Swimming, swimming. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> He's back. I can hear him walking around upstairs now. I saw him enter the house. So, it's good that he's back. I'm glad. Um, very glad, actually. Yep. He's back! Oh, hello. You may not see me because I'm behind the green screen, but I am back! He's returned. I have returned for the last 15 minutes. What's this? Oh, my, my my receipt. I already explained the story about my, how I got my book back and when oh, I ordered okay. it. Excellent. Um, while you were gone, I talked about stuff that really wasn't important. But you kept it entertaining, right? Kind of. Uh, I started off a little bit shaky because when you do things by yourself, I've already mentioned this. When you do things alone, um, there's a lot there's a lot more pressure on you. When you do yeah, it, you when you do it when you do it with a co-host like with you, for example, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot less pressure. You take the pressure off. Yeah. More. Well, at least it's a kind of really. Oh my god! I, I made a joke about this like ten minutes ago. Where I said, oh, okay, I thought there was moldy, bottled water. And it exists. Yeah, there's moldy, bottled water. How no. does bottled water get moldy? Well, there are expiry dates on actual bottled water, but the expiry dates are like 2017. Yeah, how does that even like, make you'll sense? You'll never see that. I got know? my toxicity up. I don't care. I'm getting my food down. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The way to get down food is that it builds up. Yeah, it builds up. It goes to and, you have to, and you have to shrink it down. Ah, oh, here we go. Meters, it means that it's good. The only thing that go should be full. Yeah, I, I already, I already explained the how the, I already, the I already explained how the game worked all right, all right. to these uh, folks. I cannot change the title right now for some reason. Well, not for some reason, but I cannot change the title right now because. What I like about this game, I like the shaking idea when you shake. Yeah, when you're really low health, yeah, you start you shake. shake. I cannot change. Really I can, I cannot unfortunately change the title on Twitch because um, I tried signing in. I used the password. I'm not sure if I'm in the webcam shot, but you can probably see my arm here, my elbow. Oh, gotta um, run. Yeah, see, another good thing about this game is that it is free, which is really amazing. Yeah, I mentioned how but it was free. Not much thing... space, not really graphic demanding, and yeah. it's loads of fun. It's definitely loads and of fun. And I, I already mentioned the $5 permanent upgrade. I said it was permanent. You, know, you mentioned keep... that this was made by one person. Yeah, it was made by one guy, Nelson Sexton. Yeah. Sexton. I'm probably just saying, I'm probably butchering the last name. But, yeah, it's totally cool. Um, this game is definitely entertaining. Definitely, uh, definitely a really good diamond in the rough. Once you figure out how to go to the servers and stuff like that, it gets it's really fun. Yeah. It's like it's kind of reminds me like how Seven Days to Die is money. Yeah, I already mentioned. It. I already made. Like, I already made several comparisons to Seven Days to Die. To get started, like you kind of like go, how do you go to servers? Which server should I go to? Which yeah. is the right one? <laughs> oh, look then at that! Then you understand the. Seven. There was this moment, Spencer. Um, I'm pretty sure we can go back and watch it. Oh yeah. Where there was this intense moment where I just killed this horde of zombies. There how was many? like this, this small, like far away. It looked only looked about like three maybe, uh -huh. and out of nowhere, it multiplied to like seven. 
Oh, wow. And it was, or like 10. And I, I kept walking back because I had the sledgehammer, I think, equipped. And oh, I was yeah. smacking, the sledgehammer is one of the I was best smacking them with one hit, and I finally killed them all. And I was like, oof. Question uh, When did you start streaming? At 10, exact. Excellent. So you're almost at the end. Yeah. All right. Well, I apologize for not being here, folks. I already, me- I already, I already well, let, I already I let the folks know. As to why it took longer. Originally, we were supposed to do the whole uh, forklift training yeah. from 5 to 9.30. Yeah. And we'll leave by 9.30 and then be home by probably 10-ish. Yeah. You know? That's how it should have went. Sadly, it didn't go that way. Really? Instead, I had to stay there until like 11. Why? 11.15. Yeah, 11.15. Because the guy who was teaching us took his sweet, precious time explaining every minuscule detail. We had like these... Uh, four tests to do, open book though, so it was really easy. Oh wow! Yeah, like little, you, you like actually you actually had to do a well, test. There weren't like exams where you have to do it for like an hour. You just do it for like maybe five minutes. You're like, okay, hand it to the next person beside you, and I'll tell you the correct answer. Number one, correct answer is A. Number two, correct answer is B. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So that was about it. Um, second thing that was a kind of a big issue. Yeah. To, yeah. Me, to you. Uh, yeah. Was that. Uh, when it came to people doing forklift training, we had to do a, we had to watch like three or four videos. Really? The first few, like the first three, were like yeah. ten minutes long. The last one was like twenty minutes. Yeah. But we had to do that while we were doing the test, so it didn't matter. Not many people paid attention anyway. Yeah. I didn't really go on the written test because the written test is all open book. It's all well, it's all multiple choice. It's not written. Yeah, yeah. Of it's only a question. very vaguely writing parts. But anyways, got done the multiple choice stuff, and uh, I got almost right on all of them. The yeah. first one, I think I got 19 out of 20. Oh, wow. That's and then actually... the second one, I got 19 out of 20. Oh. Third one, I got like 20 out of 20. Nice. And then the last one was like 20 out of 20. So it wasn't bad. You're, you're pro. Um, then... A propane. I had to mute the mic yeah, for a okay. second so there, the folks. So the two forklifts I used is like one that's propane, yeah, and uh, regular, right? Uh huh. Like via tank, and uh, that one's using like the steering wheel. Right? Oh yeah. Okay. So they, wait, they use two. They use two different. There's two different kinds of forklifts at the place I work at. Yeah. Um, one uses a steering wheel. Okay. Some people might know what I'm talking about. All right. One uses a steel steering wheel. One uses a joystick. The joystick one is much more simple. There's not much complicated controls. Like, there's not much switches to push, uh, leave. Oh, that takes down my infection. So on and so cool. Forth, I did not know. know that. Instead, the joystick one is a replacement of buttons, like, on that joystick. So it's kind of like, again, like some people have made up the example, like it's a video game. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to that, yeah. um, the steering wheel one is a lot more difficult because uh, you pretty much, what you have to do the whole time... Is, he's uh, right yeah, beside there, me. There right I am. See, there's, there's, my there's arm. his arm, so he's here. Right there. Um, so pretty much what happens is that. Um, yeah. Continue. Like when using the joystick, it's much easier. Steering wheel one, you always have to look at where the wheels are. Okay. And these are forklifts. Okay. You know, so of course it's going to be really confusing. Yeah. I've never driven a car or any type of vehicle in my life. The only thing that would be kind of similar to a vehicle is a bicycle, but even that is more simple. Yeah, you've never driven with before, ever. Vehicle, I've never actually driven with the idea of actually learning to drive. I've never actually driven at all, even without a license or anything like that. I just never have drove because I never had a license. And I looked at it as, I don't have a license. I'm not going to drive. It's dangerous. I'm going to screw up. Even if I just go, hey, I'm going to drive to the store. Yeah, I, I'm scared. I'm never, scared pantsless of driving. I would never do that. So I get, like, high anxiety when yeah, I drive. I understand that I was a bit worried about driving a forklift. So, but once you get down that, like, when you look at the wheels, using the rear view mirrors, or just physically looking at the wheels while you're back. Yeah. Like, the, the forward part was kind of difficult. Um, I'm about to sneeze, the, I think. reversing was it at the wheels. Because once I turned the steering wheel too far... That I ended up having like the back wheels just break, so I couldn't move forward or backward. So I was like, "Whoops! I turned the did steering you, wheel." Did, did anybody crash in anything? No, no oh, crash good. in anything. Good, nothing, good, good. Nothing a big, nothing a big deal. Which is weird because when you're taking that course, there's a lot of this fear mongering thing. Like, you do this, you're gonna die. This caused death. I'm gonna tell you a story about someone who died by goofing around on the forklift, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Who would goof around on a forklift? Well, it's because they got ran over because they're, you know being idiots because you're only supposed to be one person there and never ever be close near the forklift so if you're working where i was working yeah 
only have me doing the forklifts in that in that shed, in that warehouse area. Okay. You don't join me at all. Don't even watch or anything. Just let me do the work. Okay. You know? That's the thing when it comes to like working with other people. Only yeah. one person does. It. Yeah. And uh, but in conclusion, the whole training course, I will never have to ever do it again. Do that something like that ever again. Besides the fourth lift training course, there's another training course that I have to do is when it comes to filling up propane. That's all written in the book, you know. Yeah. It's all, you know, written text. So not only did Maybe you have to do forklift video, but that's so not about. only did you have to do forklift training, you also had to do propane. A little bit, like we were taught stuff about facts about using the propane fuel. Ah. Like, and, I see. Uh, what he would tell he would tell us like, um, always make sure when you're filling up a propane tank, only have 80 percent of it full, not a hundred percent, because that's bad. It could you're burst. Supposed to have at least twenty percent for like compression and everything like that, because again, it's a liquid turning. I, I, I'm sure Hank Hill would tell you. Yes, see, it's like, and where I don't have to do propane teaching because they don't do that until oh, next year in July or August. In August or July, my voice cracked. So August and July, so I don't have to wait for like until like, yeah, like a full like a ref- year like before a, I actually do for doing propane. another refresher course. Then. Yeah, I have to wait until school's over. You know. All right, I so, found Magnum bullets. So that's it. And uh, another thing. That's that's the Magnum story. So that's that's about it. And um, uh, another thing I wanted to mention um, was that. Oh, really? This has no clip in it at all. Never mind. Um, I was going to mention. Disappointed. Shoot, I don't for, don't remember. I forgot. Um, yeah. So I apologize for not being here. It sucks. Oh, it's fine. I, I felt really guilty I, not being able. I to was make fine. It. I looked at ten o'clock. And I was like, oh, it's ten. He started without me, and I'm still here. Yeah. You know, still have to learn how to drive a forklift and all that. Like, at the time when I hit 10. Try we to kill me to, with the forklift. Yeah, I know. I kept thinking about that. <laughs> um, or that part in wrestling where they kept using forklifts. Yeah, um, when they did it to Kane. Anyways. Yeah. Um, anyways, when, uh, during that moment yeah. where I was, because when it hit 10 o'clock, yeah. When I texted you saying, "Did you start streaming without me?" I that said, was around 10 o'clock "I said I yes." Me. But I, I was already streaming by the time that happened. I got one. Oh, tripping now. Perfect way to end the stream is eating berries out Does of it a fade wait, off or is it the sound effect? Oh, That's cool. so weird. That's kind of cool. I like that effect. I like. I mean, nothing's going to. I like how it's just a filter over what you're seeing, but not like your hands and stuff. Whoa. The last, I will admit, that's a perfect way to end this stream right here. Yeah. Is to have a, have a, and, have a and nice drug with, trip. And with me coming back. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, uh, we're definitely going to have the uh, double camera. Oh, my, what's this music? Friday. I'm gonna, is that a zombie? I'm going to fight a zombie Friday. while drugged. Definitely going to have my webcam by Friday before Strategy Saturday. It should be. Man, this is they weird. the webcam from Canada. I mean, sure, this is just a simple filter. But, I mean, come on. That's you got to admit, cool. that's like kind of cool looking. Oh, man, let's fight him. Whoa! He's like yeah, I killed it. One thing I like about what this the? game. Is oh, that moldy you potato. Slowly earn experience. It's I already mentioned like, how you get experience, I know. but skills I just, and I just things. Want to give my first impression Wait, hold on. What I think is great. Boom. The fact that you get experience. Seven Days to Die does not have that function yet. yet. Although yet. you can earn experience in the game. It doesn't tell you how much you earn. You just. Earn it, it. There's this meter that slowly goes up, yeah, like the Diablo style. Goes up style. when you look in your character and stuff. But uh, sadly, they haven't uh, haven't um, incorporated any features. Yeah. For you know, spending skill points and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind yeah. of disappointing, you know, that this game did it first. But I can understand because um, a game like this is like it's simple, so you have a lot more time not to worry about the graphics and stuff like that, you know. And it was made in, I think, Unity, the Unity engine. Yeah, this was made in Unity. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. Is the guy more, is the guy still a student? Because I I was like, talking. Apparently, he was 16. He was like still in high school still or something, high like, school that, or something yeah. like that, yeah. Because I, I I wasn't really sure. Um, because I remember because kind of I remember he made an, uh, a comment saying like, oh, I, I have to go to school this week. You know, yeah. I have classes this week, and I'm like, okay, is he in college, in college or, or he's in high school. school? I think he's in high school. I don't know. If he is, then that's awesome. Anyways, because this this guy's got some serious talent. I should probably go and I'll probably shower. Am I over going, the going, green screen over here? Go and clean yourself up. Nope. So I'm going to go shower and clean myself up. I'm sorry, everyone, that I didn't participate in the stream. I feel really bad. That's oh, fine. You know what? I got back in the, mid- in the end of the stream to at least talk about my experiences and the reason why it's so long. Thankfully, I'll never have to do this kind of stuff ever again. So that's good. All right. Well, I'm off to go and, yeah, do my thing. You go ahead. Yes. What was that? 
Ho ho. I wanted to say this real quick. I think uh, before I end the stream. Um, um, I wanted to say this every, every, real quick, everybody. What? Remember, I'm Spencer. Definitely going to really cast a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Almost got killed. <laughs>